Okay, so as you can see, I finally got which is a half of our knife. This knife prints out in two halves. This is just the first half of it. It's gonna be a little difficult trying to get this piece off, not without breaking anything anyways, especially the glass. So clearly I have damaged the tape coming off, but then again, I have to peel this whole thing off later on, replace it, because the, the, the adhesive on the back of the tape is no longer holding. But we have one half of these. Okay, so I said earlier that these things print out in two halves, right? Well, one thing I've noticed on both of mine is that there is this little gap, which is not present in the 3D model. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm thinking however they modeled it, uh, there was probably some element or something that was there that was hidden. This did warp uh, a little bit. It's I printed it with ABS, so warpage is kind of expected, but as you can see, there's a little bit of warpage, but eh, I can put up with that. Of course, I want to put these two halves together with some expanding glue, so the, hopefully the clamping pressure will actually help alleviate some of this. Get this thing glued together and we'll see how well it holds up. All right, so we got the two halves glued together. I just used some Gorilla Glue, clamped it, let it sit overnight. Uh, feels solid enough, certainly thick enough. Not the most comfortable thing to be holding, but let's uh, try this anyways. What I've got here is just some regular packaging cardboard. And uh, let's see, this pierces. You know, it would actually help if I held the chair in place. You know, I just pull the cardboard in place and uh, see how this. Eh. Why not? Probably the cardboard wouldn't have that much give to it. It would probably go much deeper than that, but. Oh. Looks like we've actually lost the tip a little bit. See if I can get the camera to focus. See, every time I record, someone always wants me. But yeah, the tip has been rounded off, it seems, compared to, say, an original, which has a focus, much sharper tip. Yeah. So definitely this thing being made out of paper would be much stronger, because ABS, quite frankly, is a little bit on the brittle side. But you know what? In terms of piercing power, I think I've got a better idea. Let's try this. So yeah, took a little drastic measure, uh, attached it to an arrow, and shot it from my bow. Uh, the bow's been turned down, obviously, and uh, you know, not being able to pull full draw because of this handle, uh, I would say it's about 20 pound-ish, so not too terribly powerful, but either way, that's a pretty scary looking broadhead, if you ask me. Let me pull this thing out and see uh, what happened to the knife itself. Okay, so what the the okay, I see how it is. So that's how we're gonna play, huh? Um, eh? It's kind of hastily fashioned together with some plumbing tape or painters tape, but it did the job. Arrows okay. The knife, on the other hand, the tip is gone. Part of the edge is rolled over on itself right here. Although this is only half a knife. But I can imagine, yeah, more stuff rolled over. So clearly the uh, ABS stuff is not as powerful or as sturdy as, uh, say, being made out of paper, which is kind of ironic. You would think being made out of plastic would be a little bit better than, you know, say, paper, but that doesn't seem to be the case, especially my type of paper. Okay, I'm getting carried away here. Anywho, 3D printed shadow daggers. Not very practical as handheld weapons, but some pretty deadly broadheads.